And we back. Today we're adding one superstar to our team until we win a championship. Because right now, this is what our team looks like. Uh, a bunch of not so great players. A bunch of really good players. And you want to see our competition? Uh, the all-time team here. The all-time team here. The all-time team here. We have all 29 other all-time teams. We're going to be spinning a wheel, getting a random number, and taking some of these players away from their team until we win an NBA championship. Now, to start off, we're taking two players in year number one. Usually, we start off with one player, but let's be real. One player is not by the change, of course, of this, this team. So, we're going to start off with two different players. But first, we got to hear from our sponsor. I want to thank SoFi for sponsoring the next portion of the video. A little while ago, I announced something very big with them. SoFi is now the official bank of the NBA. Now, I'm excited that I'm going to be working with them all season long, and we got some big things cooking. You might not know this about me, but I really like to track my finances. That's why I use SoFi to track all of my money in one place. SoFi offers credit score monitoring, budgeting and spending insights, and an overview of your net worth and an easy and free to use tool. If you're looking for a new budgeting app, SoFi's got you covered. You can link all your accounts, even the non-SoFi accounts, and that just makes it easier for you to know where you stand, what you're spending, and how to reach your financial goals. You can get a bird's eye view of your cash, monthly savings, investments, what categories you're spending your money on, upcoming expenses, and credit score all in one mobile dashboard. You can even add your property so you can track the value of your home and keep track of your net worth. I love their credit score monitoring, which doesn't hurt your credit score, by the way. And you can earn SoFi reward points every time your credit score goes up five points or more. SoFi is currently offering its new members $10 in reward points when they activate the credit score monitoring. Monitoring. All you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen. Thank you again to SoFi. Here's our wheel, the very first spin. We're getting a player, an all-time player from the Philadelphia 76. And there are a total of 15 players on the team. We're getting the... <laughs> That's great to start off with the second to worst player. But then again, it's like... It's like, it's of course, the second to worst player, but it's still an all-time great, you feel? It's going to be Doug Collins. All right, Doug. All right, let's get our second guy. Doug Collins is going to start a dynamic duo with what player? That player is going to be from the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, who have not had a ton of uh, super amazing players in their history, no disrespect. Uh, and we're getting the fourth player. All right, that makes it feel make me feel better. The fourth player in Grizzlies history is Zach Randolph. Zach Randolph and Doug Collins are the two people that we are adding to our team. I'll take it. Again, when you start off with nothing, that ain't too bad. Zebo was actually one of my favorite of his era, so I'll take that. Boom, good old three-team trade that we force. Yup, oh my God, blockbuster deal just happened. Doug Collins at a 87, Zach Randolph at an 89 before that morale boost takes him down. And you know what, uh, I want y'all to score, score. Because I know traditionally we probably got Zach Randolph. Yeah, Zach Randolph shot Tennessee ain't high enough for me. Give it at a 90. Doug Collins shot Tennessee ain't high enough. Put it at a 90. Let's get it. Hey, um, I didn't really think about this too much. Hey, we got, <laughs> we got a rookie of the year in Al Terrell. Um, we won a total of zero games. Which, now that I think about it, makes sense, right? We, we are a team with two good players against teams that, that have 15 of those. So let's spin again to add to our team, and maybe next year we end up winning a game. Uh, we're going to get somebody from the Detroit Pistons who have a lot of good players in their NBA history, and we get the ninth player. Going to be a young girl. <laughs> yeah, he's 29 here. Um, Dennis Rodman. So we got Dennis Rodman and Zebo. Oh, oh, hello. We got Dennis Rodman and Zebo. Force that trade, baby. That's what we do around here, uh, which is interesting. A lot, nobody's going to be rebound, out rebounding us. I tell you that much. We got Dennis Rodman and Zebo. So we're going to add a new wrinkle to it. We're going to add a new wrinkle. If I can successfully guess on point how many wins we get, I can add an extra player to the team. So this year, I'm going to suspect that Dennis Rodman helps us win two games this year instead of zero. That's my guess. Two games. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the only thing you really care about is whether or not we, we, we won two games or not. And the answer is that's exactly what we did. We lost 21 straight, but best believe we won one, one at the ro on road, one at home. <laughs> Dennis Rhymes, I'm not used to losing like this. How you only average 14 rebounds per game and we missing all these shots? Because Zebo averaged 11 and then Doug Collins average. Man, we, we're bad. But the good thing is 
We have the ability to add two different players, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Can we have a full starting five now as we get somebody from the Indiana Pacers? The Pacers' best player, I think, in history, according to 2K, because Reggie Miller doesn't exist, is Paul George at like a 92, but we're getting the 14th player, so it's not even 92 overall Paul George. That's the first player we'll be adding. I don't know who that could be. Is that... I don't... Actually, I have no idea who that could be. We about to find out, though. It's Roy Hibbert! The king of verticality. We got another center. Uh, Dennis Robin, I guess, can run some three. <laughs> I don't like that, but that's probably the direction we got to go. All right, so the next team we're pulling the player from is going to be the Ra now the Raptors. Is that, or is that the Pistons again? Okay, the Raptors got something going, and we're getting the 11th player. Okay, so it's not ideal. Uh, we have not got really good numbers so far. We're going to get Doug Christie. I don't remember Doug Christie much on the Raptors. I remember Doug Christie for his time uh, with the Kings. That, that was when I was growing up. But in this case, he's going to be our shooting guard. Or he, he's going to start with Doug. They both should start. Oh, they want Zebo to come off the bench. Nah, we're not good enough to tell anybody to come off the bench. So Zebo will start. Um, and we're just going to put Dennis Rodman at the three, baby. And you know what? I'm going to shorten the rotation so that we can have our best players playing even more so we can win a total of nine games this season. We're going to, whoo, we just took a huge jump. We're going to win nine games is my prediction. Bad news, we weren't even nearly even close to my number. We won a total, uh, I don't even know what the total was. I promise you it wasn't nine, it was three. We got one win better. Why did I think that Doug Christie and Roy Hibbert was going to change the course of our season? I mean, sheesh. Oh, it was bad. All right, all right, that's fine. We just keep at it. One new play. Can we get one person that's in the top five of their franchise history, please? We're going to go to the Pelicans. This is a way we can get Chris Paul, maybe. And we're getting dead last. That's So that's fun for every everybody. Everybody involved is so very happy that we just got the 15th player. Because you know what that means? Nothing. It means nothing is going to change. I'm going to predict that we're going to win four games. I don't even know who this next person we added. But he's the worst player on one of the newer-ish teams. And that worst player is Eric Gordon. He's an 81 overall. Oh, boy. Yeah, Eric Gordon is not coming in and changing nothing. I'll be honest with you. He's not. He's just not. So, but we will start him at the one, though. He's 6'3". He can. So, that's just the only thing. I'm saying we're going to win four games. Eric Gordon is going to help us win one extra. Oh, my God. We already won a game. Eric Gordon, did you just save our season? Our, our video? No, he didn't. No. I say four. How do we do? How many games do I think we said? I think I said I, we were going to win four games. We won six. Oh, my God. We were significantly better than I even anticipated. So, here are all the stats. Do you care? I mean, none of our players are, like, playing super ridiculously great. Everybody's just cool. We still are looking for that superstar to help us. All right. We're going to get player number 15. <laughs> for what team? I can't make this up, bro. I cannot make this up. Player number 15. For, are we going back to Philly with it? Player number 15 on the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, Doug Collis is very close to 15, so... Is this going to be somebody of that caliber? It's Ben Simmons. Oh, my God. Um, but, hey, this is, like, playable Ben Simmons. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's maybe not as bad, but it also it's maybe not as good either. But we have a real point guard now. Ben is low-key a sim, sim demon, bro. I'm not going to act like I'm disappointed in that. I mean, it's it, it's not as good as getting Allen Iverson or Will Chamberlain or Joel Embiid, who's also on that list. So, we won six last year. I think we're a 10-win team with Ben Simmons. 10-win team. 10 win team. This makes zero sense. Ben Simmons came in and changed everything. Um, that's a see Z C Ben Simmons made an all NBA team and he actually took and made at least a three. Um, that's a see Zebo win an award. Maybe I'm tripping. Um, Zebo, yeah, he won six minutes, won six men of the year. Okay, cool. Um, Ben Simmons really came in and changed everything. We won 19 games. What? Vince, the Ben Simmons we know? No, see, it's not the Ben Simmons we know. It's the Ben Simmons we knew. And he came in and changed a lot. So we don't get two players here. We only get one, and we're going to the Bucks. Kareem, please. Please. 12. Bro, we have got so unlucky this video. I don't even, I can't even remember. We, I've been filming for so long because 2K Sim Speed is not very great, especially when you import your own rosters. But I don't think we've got over, what, eight? Have we got anything over eight? I guess under eight, you know what I'm trying to say. It's going to be Vin Baker. We just get another power four. We're getting all power four and power four adjacent players. I mean, I guess that's fine. They want to start him over Rodman. Uh, we can run an eight-man rotation. So we have eight real players. We had no small four minutes. We only got Ben Simmons as a point guard. 
It was 19 last year. Oh, my prediction since it was 19 last year, 24. We got 24. Yep. It's cool to see how many different people win MVP. Now it's Tiny Archibald. I think last year was Scotty Pimpin. We've had a plethora of different dudes make it happen. The unfortunate part is I think we were one game off. Ben Simmons is really like that. Oh my God, Ben is carrying, bro. Ben is all NBA first team in the world that has LeBron James, Oscar Robinson, Tracy McGrady, Kevin Garnett, Giannis, Michael Jordan. Well, LeBron is here multiple times. Michael Jordan exists in this world and is like, nah, it's Ben, 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 Ten Simmons. We said 24, we won 25. So we only really get to spin once. But man, was that close. And I'm kind of disappointed. All right. If we can, I, I think that we can make a playoff push if this spin matters. Portland will take uh, Clyde the Glide Drexler, please. Three. Oh, my God. Three might be like Bill. Bill Walton might be at three, man. And that's a former MVP. All we need is just MVPs. Give us MVPs and we'll never lose. Oh, it's actually Dame. Oh, Bill is number two. So Dame is number three. All right, Dame, I'll take that. Damian Lillard, welcome to the team. That's a young Dame, too. So, I actually have to still start Ben Simmons, right? The man just made All-NBA first team for us last season. So, I have to figure out how we do this. I think we can put Ben at the th four. Ben has to play. He has to start. Like, he was just amazing for us. We can't just throw him to the curb now that Dame is in town. But, Dame, welcome. <laughs> welcome. Uh, help us win the championship. I'm going to say we won 25 last season. This is a 33-win team. 33 wins. Damian Lillard is that imp important. 33 wins now. It's a 33-24. Hey, we might... It's going to be stupid. We might start being over Dame next season, bro. I mean, I don't know who we're going to get. Right? I don't know who we're going to add. But we might... Because be ahead us rolling. Dame, Dame ain't had it, man. Dame ain't do that to us. All right. So... We're gonna go to the Hornets. The reason we picked the Hornets to start off with is just because they don't, they, we get number two, so that's fun. They don't have a ton of elite players in their history. So they actually have the worst all-time team in basketball. That's why we picked them. So the second best player in Hornets history, according to K, is Kimba Walker. So, so welcome to the team, Kimba. Welcome back. I mean, welcome back to the team, Kimba. My fault, Kimba. Welcome, welcome back to the team. Now, they got this is and I'm at, at, at a crossroads because I was just saying how we was going. Hello? I just released somebody. I was just saying how I wanted it so that um, you know, we have Ben Simmons starting. Wait, is this glitched? I think it might be glitched, y'all. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get somebody out of free agency. Cause I don't think it's gonna allow us to release anybody. Hold on, let's try it again with this guy. Release. See, yeah, he's staying on the team. We might not be able to get anybody in free agency. All right, sorry, Kimba. It can't be you. It can't be you. I tried. You saw me. I just tried to release a player. So we're getting the twelfth player on another team. So I'm, I'm just getting worse. I would prefer Kimba than the twelfth player on the Orlando Magic. So we got, we kind of just got sold by 2K bugginess. So that's yeah. It's Scott Skiles. Kimba Walker was in '89. Scott Skiles in '84. He barely playing on this team, man. And yeah, I'm starting Ben Simmons, bro. Ben 10, take us back to the promised land. 36, thir 32 wins, Ben. 32 wins. Go do it. Now it's Bob McAdoo as the MVP of the league. Look at that. All we need to really need to realize is that the Celtics are the team you got to beat because that is a team that is the one seed every single season. We were not the 33 win total that I anticipated. So we only get to add one new player, which is fine because that player is going to be LeBron and we're going to feel so great. It's not going to be LeBron. It's gonna be somebody from the Clippers. And that player is number two. Ooh, okay. Is that Bob McAdoo? I will take that, man. I, hey, I, I will 100% take that if it's Bob McAdoo. We need like a 90 plus overall player. Now it is also 2.46 um, AM. So I'm actually gonna add this guy to the team and we're gonna uh, resume. It is Bob McAdoo, great. We're gonna resume this uh, recording tomorrow morning. But the new lineup is Lillard, Christie, Collins, Baker, McAdoo with Dennis Rodman, Zach Randolph, Ben Simmons, Roy Hibbert, Scott Skiles, Eric. So we've actually added so many players. And we finally, outside of Dane. Okay, yeah, Dane. I was going to say we finally got a, our first 90 plus. But we got Dame and Bob McAdoo as our two 90 plus. But remember the teams we got to go through, bro. Like, even the Jazz themselves have five 90s. The Kings have seven to eight nineties. Like, 
I mean, I know there's two Western Conference teams, but that's just to reference how far we really are from winning this championship. And that's why I'm taking my butt to bed because we got a long day ahead of us. Good morning, all. Let's get this championship. All right, so I don't remember who the last person we added was. Was it Scott Skiles? It was something like that. It's, just know it wasn't like a... Oh, no, it's Bob McAdoo, right? Yeah! Hey, we came up a little bit. So uh, we actually have a team. You know, 290 overall players puts us in conversation with, like, the Mavericks. All right, I'll take that. I'll, I'll take that. Um, let's get into it. The first year again because we're going oh wins oh wait wait my prediction 22 uh 30 wins 30 wins even because um we're going against all-time teams i i should have figured that this is going to be one of the longer recording sessions and i never complain about this i love this job but i guess i didn't think about it too much because we're going to get some of the greats but like a 6 and 12 start is not terrible considering the circumstances. We only got 290 overall players going against teams with 6, 7, and 8. So let's get these 30 wins, hopefully, and see who we can add. Let's see how many games we won this season. Anybody? Bob McAdoo was on all NBA first team. I feel great about that. I feel great. I, I don't understand why they be having these players take. He took 155 threes this season with a 32 three point rating. And, and I can't blame anybody but the creators of the game because why would Bob... Oh, never mind. Never mind. But no, 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 no. I still blame them because why does Bob McAdoo have any three-point shot tendency at all? At all. I, I don't understand it. But hey, Bob McAdoo did come in. I think I said 30 wins was my prediction. They won 37, baby. We are close to a playoff team. We are close to... We are playing team right now. Hold on. I thought that was it. We had a minus uh, 8 point, uh, 0 0.8 point differential. So we were almost in that even team. We are playing team, y'all. I can't believe we made it this far, man. All right. So we're going against all-time Nets. Who get James Harden technically? But come on, y'all. What? The man played like what felt like two games there. I know no, it was more than that. But that's what it felt like. That team is nasty. They got Dikembe? Okay. Okay. Um, I wonder if there are trades happening in here. There are trades happening. Not a lot of them, it don't look like. But, like, Zach Levine got traded for Earl DePoro Monroe. Kevin Garnett got traded for Steve Nash. Moses Malone got traded to the Grizzlies for Tony Allen. Uh, Kirk Hunt, the Bulls just made a bunch of trades, huh? Yao Ming got traded. That, okay, so I was wondering why Dikembe... Okay, Dikembe got traded um, for Kyrie. Um, oh, okay. Big old trade here. Oh, that was us. <laughs> That's us getting uh, all of our trades. All right, okay. We go against them. And should I simcast it? It's a 9-10 matchup. We win. Whoa. The good guys are here. The good guys are here. We blew them out, man. We blew them out. They ain't had nobody have a good game. On the other hand, Bob McAdoo was great. Damian Lillard was great. Doug Collins was great. Now we go against the Orlando Magic. We're going to have with T-Mac, Dwight Howard, yikes, Penny Hardaway. That's a squad right there. It's really a squad. Um, where's our advantage? I don't see one, honestly. All right, but we anything can happen. It's the game of basketball, and we lost, and we lost by a lot. That is completely okay with me. All right, let's see who else we're adding because again, every single year we should just get better and better and better because we're adding all-time greats. Can I get a one, please? Can I please get a one? Denver Nuggets, a Jokic, a Carmelo, uh, Alex English, David David Thompson. All those guys would do great on this team. It's out of fifteen. We get number 11. Ah, it's not going to get the job done. It's not going to get the job done. But we'll take, again, all talent is good talent. But we at the part now where we actually have a real rotation, right? So, like, every player that we add is not just going to make the team better. Kiki Vandaway, welcome to the team. We're going to give them Kurt Armstrong. There we go. What a good trade. What a good trade. Now, that actually does make us better because we don't have to rely on Doug Collins to, to be our small forward. Um... And Doug Christie, who had been a starter for a lot of this video so far, is now out of the rotation completely. So that's actually a big upgrade. We have two 90s in a near 90, a couple near 90s, because Dennis Rodman is still coming off our bench tonight. Like, I don't know how much Dennis Rodman translates to 2K, right? Because he is a all-hustle, all-heart, rebounding god. But I just don't know how to translate. So that 89 is kind of fluky. I know the defense is going to be real. I'm going to predict we won 37 last year. We're going to be a 500 team this year. 500 team. I just don't know how we're going to beat this Boston Celtics team without having Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan on the team. But, hey, we got to cross that bridge eventually. 
Um, will we have anybody? Bob McAdoo does it again, and Damian Lillard does it. Hold on, two All NBA players. That means we we won the same amount of game. Wow! So I was low key watching the trade. I mean the the simulation as it was happening, and we were we were very decent to start the season. I took my ass off, and here we are again. Bob McAdoo shooting way too many threes, and that's probably why we lose. I, I'll be honest with you. That's probably why we lose because why is he taking so many? Next thing you know, it's going to say Roy Hibbert has been taking threes this season. Okay, he didn't. All right, that's okay. Shout out to Kiki Vandeway. That, you helped us a lot. But now we're going back to the Clippers. Are we taking a team or somebody on Boston? That's huge because Boston has so many great players in their history. No matter what number we get, we feel real good about it. It's number five. The fifth best player in Boston Celtic history. Whoa. Okay, so we're going to have like a Coy Larry Bird. We're going to have Bill Russell. Those two are going to be at the top. Number five. Oh, I'm intrigued, baby. I'm intrigued. The fifth best player on the Boston Celtics is going to end up being one, two, three, four, five. Kevin McHale. Like, look at this. Look at all the 90s. No matter what number we would have got, I would have been so very happy. But we end up with Kevin McHale. They take Adrian Marks back. Shout out to Adrian Marks. He's been holding it down since the beginning of this video. But now we got Kevin McHale. Ben Baker goes to the bench. We have so many power four minutes, it is insane. I'm actually going to change this. Vin Baker, no. Doug Christie, yes, because we just need more wing players. And, man. Okay. All right. We were a 34-win team last season. We are a 44-win team this season. You know who I didn't think about this whole video? The Lakers. So, okay, we, gonna, we might have to go through the Celtics and then meet the Lakers on the other side. Oh, it's going to be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Then what it is? Then what it is? Bob McAdoo still doing his part, um, which we love. I think he's going to be uh, a KOT for a Q all-star for the rest of my life because of this video. We're the three seed. Oh, my God. 52 wins. And you know what? That's not too far off from the Celtics. Okay, it's nine games off the Celtics, so it is kind of far off. But, like, there's a world... With the, the boys could maybe do something. So we got to go against this version of LeBron. They also got a 99 Dwayne Wade, a 95 uh, Zoe, and then a 90 T Tim Hardaway. Um, that team is nasty. We can't really match up with that. Our advantage is that we have Damian Lillard and we have Kevin McHale. Those are the only advantages we have. Bob McAdoo and Alonzo Mourne to kind of uh, uh, cancel each other out. But then again, Bob McAdoo made all NBA. I don't know if I've seen Alonzo Mourne in there. We're down 1-0. We're down 2-0. Oh, we're down 3-0. Oh. We just got swept as the higher seed. So that's... Okay. It's all about progress, baby. It's all about progress. Give us another high number on a really good team. Sacramento Kings. Um, which is good because the Kings just, just made it to the finals. Um, so that, that if we could take Big O, if we could take Big O, we're not. We're not getting big. But if that team can beat the Lakers... You see where my head is at? If that King scene to be, can beat the Lakers, we can beat the Lakers too. We just got to take the seventh best player off that King, which is Wayne Embry. Now, Wayne Embry, if I'm not mistaken, was a, an ABA guy too? I could be mistaken. But either way, uh, we're going we gonna to take him off the team, get us another center, even though we already have Ray Hibber. But this, this guy's better than Ray Hibber. That's another 90 overall player to add to the rotation, y'all. It's another 90 overall player to add to the rotation. So we'll take that. Ben Simmons is now at the point where he don't play. Dang, Ben. No, Vin Baker can't play. I'm sorry. It's just too many power forwards. We'd rather have Ben Simmons or Doug Christie. I think it's Ben. Because remember, Ben was all NBA first team once upon a time. I hope you ain't forgot early in the video. I know that was yesterday uh, for me. I, if we, what did we win? 52 last year? This is a 55 win team. Come on. We need to get it right eventually, man. Add it to people. Oh, it's not going to be 55. Starting off 1-0, one 1-10, one oh, one whatever the hell it was. This year. 46 we took a step back i mean we're still comfortably in the playoffs instead of play in which is dope but dang we took a step back weren't we the three c last year is that better is it better because last year we got embarrassed this year we're going against Melo and and dave the busher and patrick ewan and richard gian and walt frazier how did walt frazier end up being the last name i said i don't know i mean walt frazier's the best guy on the team game one is a win for the knicks we're just never going to win a playoff game, huh? Come on. You know what I didn't even look into? With the all-time teams, do they have the all-time best coach? No, they have an auto-generated coach. Okay, they're all auto-generated coaches. Never mind. I thought they were going to have, like, the best coach in Hornets history. Who is, I actually don't know who that would be, but it don't matter anyway. We keep losing. We just need a super-duper star. Super 
duper star. Get us back to the Nuggets, maybe? All right, we need a one or a two, baby. A one or two! Is that... Is that Carmelo? Because I think Yo Big Yoke is number one. We would have liked Big Yoke, too. But that might be Carmelo Anthony. Un unless they have, like, again, David Thompson or somebody like that really high. But this is one of the highest scores we got so far. So we'll take it. I don't care who it is, really. It's going to be it's okay. It's going to be David Thompson. All right, we'll take that. Another bucket. Absolute bucket. We are at the point now where every single person on our team is somebody that we've uh, uh, accumulated through these simulations and stuff. So we have four, 590 overalls because we got the big man off the bench. 590 overalls now. I hate that our morale is down. Like, why? We're good. We're really good. We're so good that I'm predicting, I'm predicting 54 wins. Y'all, 54 wins. This is the year for us. Bob McAdoo for Clay Thompson? No, thank you. 54 wins is my guess. And based on this start, I undershot it. We may never lose again. Okay. We lost to the Knicks. Oh, I, oh, I'm going to get the Knicks, bro. I'm going to get the Knicks. I don't know what the exact number is right now, but I know that this was our best year by far. Colts of the year, 63 wins. David Thompson came in. Wait, how did... Wait, how did he not win MVP then? Or did I overlay? He did win MVP. Oh, my God. I overlooked it. I overlooked it. Wow, I'm like, how is he first all NBA team at the top and not MVP? Well, he is the MVP of the league, David Thompson, baby. Um, that is amazing. That is amazing. And we also have Bob McAdoo doing it on the third team and Damian Lillard doing it on the third team. I didn't think that we were ready to contend, contend, but the numbers say that we are. We need to get out of the first round, though. I mean, we've been the higher seed in one of these series. We got swept in that series, then we lose in five of the other one. Unfortunately, we got to go against prime LeBron James and Kyrie Irving in round number one. The rest of the team ain't going to be as great, though. So if we can contain Braun, whatever that means, um, oh, that's contained Braun to me. Oh, my God, that's contained Braun for sure. We even contained Kyrie on top of that. Game one is a win for us. Game two is a win for us. Game three is a win for us. Are we going to sweep LeBron? No, we're not going to sweep Braun. But... We beat them. Now, going from playing against LeBron to Michael Jordan in the second round is tough. A young Derrick Rose, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, a, a better Dennis Rodman than the one that we got, and Artis Gilmore. A really good team, man. But look, we got 396s. I didn't realize that we were that nice, and then we got Dame at a 95. I think we could really contend, yo. I really do think we contend. The Boston Celtics are down there as well. Um, we contained LeBron in the last series. And so far, we contain the MJ2. Who is on our team getting these stops? I don't know who it is. Okay, we didn't contain them that game. But we still won. We lose game four, but we get out of there to go against. All right, so we got Boston here and LA on the other side. If we can, this will be a legendary run to go through LeBron, then MJ, then Larry, Bill, Russell, and, and KG, and Bob Cousy, and then go against Kobe, Shaq, Kareem, and all, you know what I'm saying, Magic Johnson, if we can get it done. All right, all right, all right. Game one is a loss. Kiki Vandeweghe had an amazing game. They just traded for Clyde Drexler. Okay. I don't know how the heck they did that, but we're going to have to see. They traded for Clyde Drexler. They ended up trading Ray Allen in the first for Clyde. What an upgrade. Game two, we lose that as well. All right, this is time to bring out the seven-man rotation. David Thompson is tired. The MVP of the league is tired. Okay, there's a win, though. There's a win, and there he is. 15 assists game for Damian Lillard. He should, did not shoot the three-point ball very well. That might be the determinative factor in these series, bro. Dame just taking a bunch of threes. I mean, again, in this lineup, we're not, we're not run, we're running a bunch of forwards. But did we dominate the rebound battle? Offensive rebounds, 14 to 10. So we didn't dominate. Maybe that's still the meta. It's not. 3-1 them. And we lose. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Well. That Celtics team is disgusting. We knew that. Can we do better? Can we do better? We're going to go and get somebody from the Grizzlies again. All right. I mean, we're at the point now where some people on their team won't even make the rotation. The eighth best player on the Grizzlies, right? Going to be Tony Allen. All right. That's an upgrade. I mean, we're giving up Eric Gordon to get him. So we jump four to five overall. So we'll take that uh, even if he never pl he never plays. Okay. So basically nothing changed. Uh, we won 60-something last game, last season. I'm going to say we won 63, 60, 67, 65 this year, 65. So I feel really good about David Thompson. He continues to win that award, the MVP award. Um, I said 65 wins. We ended up winning 63. 
Bro, all I really want is that double whammy. That two two players coming in at the same time. And I can't I can't I Giannis Kareem Oscar Robertson. I don't believe we're a championship contender, so I'm just gonna simulate the entire round. We get out of the first round in seven. Second round, we're going against Philly. Um, now I'm starting to believe that we might be a championship contender. I'm just I'm I'm a slow pace this one. So AI Julius Dolph. Moses Malone in this one. Okay, great, great, great. I don't know how many years we've been going. 3-2 series them. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, this would have been the path, too, because the Celtics already lost. Ah, that's so frustrating. We desperately need a super-duper star. One more super-duper star, and we're getting the 76ers? Wait, wait, who's on our team? I would love Allen Iverson right now. Please, Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson, I need you on the team, man. Or or Moses, I don't care. We need basically one through five. I'm happy with anybody one through five. Here we go. We got one! See, that's because we were patient in our practices. Moses Malone, I might run Moses Malone. Oh, that's what makes it tough. Maybe we shouldn't have wanted one. We got, we got Kevin McHale and we got Bob McAdoo. Is there room for another big? I, probably not. I don't care. Talent is talent. Um, Allen Iverson, getting a two would have been probably better. Getting Allen Iverson, honestly. Just because of the fit. Just because of the fit aspect of it. But I'm not, I'm again, I'm not going to complain. Moses Malone, welcome to the team, my guy. Um, Scott Scouts can go over to Philly. And yeah, Bob McAdoo, who's been so amazing for us, is now uh, coming off the bench. We have, we need to have um, our guy, Doug Collins, play in minutes because we just need another wing. Okay, I'm trying to figure out in my head how I how do I play this because that's a lot of center minutes, man That's a lot of center minutes right here um, And it's not like any of these dudes can like slide over to the three. You know what I'm saying? Like Kevin McHale drops significantly like Bob McAdoo was kind of crazy at three um, So yeah, that's not even a possibility and this guy's not a possibility either So we just we just run it. We just run it man. We trust that the big ball lineups is going to be good enough. Well, the good thing is a lot of teams are kind of looking like this, right? None of these teams were actually built. Um, they're, they're traversing different eras. So there might be other teams that have it. I'm, I'm going to say we're on a great start. A 65 win team again. I'm going to keep saying 65 until it's right. I said we would win 65. I guess that's what the Celtics end up doing. Um, we don't even got the MVP this year. Yikes. All right. I don't even know. Back to the drawing board maybe. And not even all NBA first team for David. Oh, we had to be bad. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We just kept adding talent. So David Thompson's overall production probably just went down. We won a total 65. Okay, so no matter what, if we win this champion, oh, if we don't win this championship, then we we add two players instead of one. That is beautiful. Okay, we'll take it, we'll take it, we take it. I mean, they had the 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 difference maker or the tiebreaker, so they're the one seed. We got to go through this team. We've been through this team before, and now we got Moses Malone on the team. He almost is a 99 to match Michael Jordan, and we get out of there to go against the Knicks. Again, this team has beat us before. This team has also beat the Celtics team last year, so this team has a lot of talent. They can they can really get up and hoop. Let's see if they can do it this series. Game one is a win by the good guys. Game two is a win by the good guys. Please tell me Moses Malone was the determined fact of us winning the championship, baby. We do get the Celtics again. All right, okay. We do get the Celtics again. So we took Kevin McHale away from them, but still, they, they just got so much talent that they say Kevin McHale is gone. All good. Kevin Garnett is coming into the, to the lineup, and, and, and now we're still going to be great. Game one is a loss. Let me shorten my rotation to seven. Game two is a loss. Now, I have to change the rotation. I just realized that everybody that we just have in a rotation is a center. That can't be the case. It's going to have to be Doug Collins. It's going to have to be Doug Collins because, again, we need a wing. Game three. We, okay, series over. All right, bet. We got swept. All right. Yep, that team is just stupid. Um, okay, but this is a chance we can make up. If we get two high numbers on two good teams, it's wraps. It's over. We're going to the Washington Wizards or the Warriors. The Warriors, the Warriors, the Warriors. Now, I'm going to click it. I'm going to show you me clicking it. And if it stay on one, it stay on one. And I'm getting Steph Curry. It went to eight. Okay, so the first player we're adding is the eighth best player on the Warriors. I'm having a lot of fun here, by the way. I'm having a lot of fun. Especially now, because this could be the determinative factor. Now, the eighth best player on the Warriors, I don't know who it's going to be. I pray that it's not a big, though. It's Paul Arizian. Okay, actually, 
Steph Curry's not even one. It's Will Chamberlain that one. All right, I, I see, I see. So we'll trade, we'll trade away Doug Christie to get Paul Larizian on the team. That's that's a that's a dub. That's a dub. Okay. Next team we're getting again. We just need Michael Jordan. That's all. Or Braun. Instead, we're gonna go to the Jazz, who have a couple all-time legends, which I would I'm not mad at. We get number two. Number two is gonna be John Stockton. Number two is gonna be John Stockton. Uh, again, we already got some good point guard play, but now we got more. No, John Stockton's one. No, bro, another power forward. Tony Allen, you gotta go. Oh, I did not want to get Carl Malone. I wanted to get John Stockton. If I'm being honest with you, we got the Malone pairing in the front court. Um. I am gonna have it so again, it's gonna be Duck. Um, it's gonna be Duck Hollins as the ninth man. Paul Larizian rounds out the rotation pretty good though as a wing, so we'll take that. Um, the Malone front court, the Moses and Carl front court, it's it's good. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. But we would, I would have rather got John Stockton, and that would have moved Damian Lillard to the bench. And now we got a top point guard and a bunch of bigs. But instead, look at our power four core, bro. Malone, Mikhail, Rodman, Randolph. And then on the centers, we are ridiculous too. We're going to win 67 games. 67 of them things. Could this be the year? Could this be the dagger? The end of the video. Uh, you kind of know the answer to that question, don't you? Because you you see the, the how much time is that? I don't because I'm in real time. Uh, I said 67 was the number. We won 63. So we were actually worse this year than last year. But you know what? Total wins and losses don't matter to me. You know, total wins and losses are not that important. What is important is this rank. Two seed again. This time around, we're going against the Atlanta Hawks. I'm not sure if we've seen the Atlanta Hawks just yet. Bob Pettit, Al Horford, Neek, Eddie Jones, okay, and Fred Brown, okay. And we should be able to take care of them in six at the most. The answer is four. All right. The Knicks are a team we just continue to see every second round. Um, again, they have not made any changes. But I got to check because, again, trades are on and we've seen some crazy trades already. We're down 2-1, 2-2 tie up. We lose game five. We force a game seven, baby. Here we are in Charlotte for game seven. I don't know what home court advantage is like in Charlotte. I, I'll be honest with you. I've been to one uh, Hornets game, and that don't even count because it was the it, it was the All Star game. <laughs> we were up by double digits with five minutes to go, and we get out of there to face the Boston Celtics. This is where we can do it. If we make it to the finals, I feel really good. Um. Now they got Dave Cohen starting. Last time it was I, Bill. Where's Bill? Is Bill coming off the bench? We'll take that. Game one is a win. Bill Russell is coming off the bench. No, they're not going to keep it that way. He's going to start. There we go. Okay, he's starting again. I was about to say, there's no way they're going to have Bill come off the bench the entire series. And once you look at that, the most winning player in history can help a team win a, play, a, a playoff game if he's starting. So we lose game two. We lose game three. We win, come on, please, game five. Yes, no game sevens. No game sevens. We are finally in the finals, but look who it is. On the other side here, it is the LA Lakers who have Jerry West, Kobe Bryant, James Worthy, Elgin Baylor, and, and Shaq. Uh, Magic is coming off the bench. I mean, I'll take that. Again, we'll take a one series lead if you're going to give it to us. LeBron is here as well. George Mikan, Anthony Davis, Will Chamberlain, Gail Goodrich. Like, it makes no sense how much talent is on this team. Uh, game one is a win because, again, you had Magic Johnson coming off the bench. Now he is starting again. Look at that lineup, bro. Oh, boy. We win game one. Game two, we lose. Yeah, because, of course. Game three, we win. Oh, my God, we have a, a, a series lead. Damian Lillard had 23 assists in a playoff game and only a turnover. Give him Finals MVP right now, even if we lose. Even if we lose game four, we're up 3-1. Oh, my God. Da now, this gets to game. Dame has six turnovers. I don't care about it. We are one game away, and we do it. Oh, my God, Dame, you monster. And to think, I was trying to have you come off the bench for John Stockton. Was John Stockton putting up 23 assists in, in a game in the NBA Finals? I don't think so, man. It took a very long time. What was it, like 15, 16 years? I don't even know. Um, but either way, this was the final roster. Remember what we started with, 65s and lower. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. It means a ton, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.